as the year comes to an end, it is often a practice among some tribes of Nigeria, particularly if they do not reside where they are from, they will, you know, fix major cultural, traditional, religious, family events. They'll fix this at the end of the year, December stroke January. It is sometimes around December 15th to January 15th. And this triggers mass travels and exodus from one part of Nigeria to the other. Most of the people who do this are Southeasterners. Now, there are some reports that have been presented. And uh, these reports, I want us to you know, relate to it, deal with it. Now, following the agitation for cessation by the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, which right now, according to reports, have spun out of control as different criminal elements, including violent agitators, bandits, kidnappers, cultists, contract killers, and Ebube, Agu, all of this that I've mentioned have gone on the rampage. The usual peaceful atmosphere in the southeast of Nigeria have been replaced with perpetual tension, especially on the highways. You don't know who is who. So much tension. If you have high blood pressure, it is better you sit where you are because you might be on the way down to your villa and you will hear someone say, oh, the unknown gunmen, IPOB, is ESN. You know, all of them are flying the Biafran flag. You don't know who is who anymore. Soon, Fulani Hetzman will begin to wear Biafra regalia to kidnap and to do terrible things. This is a new trend. Now, of course, you know with this traveling back and forth, prices of commodities will skyrocket. It is even on the high side already. It is on the high side with the terrible economic situation in Nigeria. Now, some residents of Lagos who have had the habit of visiting home in the east over the years during the yellow tide confirmed that Igbo indigents are not enthusiastic about visiting home this year due to the tense atmosphere in their zone. Now, a salesman called Inzediegu, who recently had his wedding confirmed, said he will not be traveling this December, explaining that the cost of transportation has doubled and that the Southeast is presently volatile. He will want to be in that happy mood, wedding, and all of a sudden, one person will say, didn't you hear sit at home? Or this village, there is a law that we have put down that anyone that wants to do this has to do that. You know, people are afraid. For the first time in a long while also, I will not be traveling for Christmas. This is what he said. Another guy, Ebuka, he said that he is not traveling, majorly because of the situation in the East, adding that this is the first time he will not travel home. Imagine. Another business owner, Johnson, who recently visited the South, he said, though it is not as bad as it is being portrayed, but he will not be traveling home. Business has not been good. If I travel, I will spend a lot of money and we do not know what next year holds for us. I will spend Christmas in Lagos. Now you see how Lagos is now like a safe place for a lot of people. You know, a lot of people do not value what they have until they lose it. This is what it is. Lagos is now a place where people will relax and say, okay, you know what? At least it is still better than where we are from at this time because of the uncertainty, violence, and a lot of terrible things happening. Another businessman based in Okigwe, Imo State, who pleaded anonymity, anonymity, said the situation in the state is tense. In fact, he said the unknown gunmen led by Simon Ekpa are terrorizing the entire zone. They can emerge from nowhere, anywhere, and attack the army. And this could provoke reprisals against the populace. And I do not want to be caught in between this. So 
I am sitting where I am. Now, if you go to popular motor parks, Jibo, Lagos, similar motor parks in the Federal Capital Territory, it is the same thing people are saying. One of the bus drivers, Wanko, said that they are expecting an increase in the number of travelers from December 24th, but he said, I don't think insecurity is the major, major issue. That is what he is saying. He said the price of transport has gone up from Lagos to Newe is now between 25,000 naira and 28,000 naira. It's the same for Purakot. In fact, you can't go anywhere in the southeast from Lagos with less than 23,000 naira. Money. 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 And insecurity. Now, another traveler who identified himself as Simeon, he said the current insecurity is not caused by IPOB. What we have now are gunmen masquerading as IPOB. I am traveling because I have no fear. Now, this is his own opinion. Like I said before, I said certain individuals hid under IPOB, Eastern Security Network, Biafra Agitation, to commit crime. They are uncontrollable. Another person, Johnson Ojunta, traveling to Abia from Nyanya Park, said, although insecurity lingers in the East, he is left with no option. said, I have five children, but as you can see, I'm traveling alone. What has he done? He kept his children in a safe place. Where is that safe place? Let us always appreciate that place that we can run to or stay put, believing that we are safe. Another person, a maker, he lives in Kubwa and travels to Imo State to celebrate Christmas with his family and friends yearly. But now he said, I have already decided that I won't travel home this year due to the insecurity in the country, particularly in the Southeast. People are being killed and kidnapped. It's safer to remain where you are until this security issue is put right, improved. Another person, a father of three, Kechuku, he said, I may risk going home for Christmas, but my wife and children will not go. Let us not put our lives at risk. If IPOB comes out with any other that will not allow people to enjoy themselves this during the celebration, I better stay back in Abuja. But if nothing like that happens, I will join my colleagues to travel home. People are scared of being killed, murdered, kidnapped, or wounded. Are you traveling home this year? Now, it was in the north, not traveling as people thought they would. They are staying put. Eagles in the north are staying put. They say, we cannot go to our place this year. We will not stay in our place this year. Insecurity in the east will, is not going to permit us. While there are people who said insecurity in the east will not stop them from traveling to their villages for festivities. So, it is now based on your own opinion, what you want and your thoughts about it. Do you want to travel? Do you think there is nothing happening? We've heard cases of people being murdered, old woman being murdered during the sit at home, even though she went out to look for medication to help herself stay alive. What are your thoughts? This is the situation of things. Um, you know, uh, everything is just expensive now and insecurity and a lot of things. Um, a lot of people, you know, said many things about their own travel. Some say, I'm not going anywhere because I can't afford it. Um, some say, I have three kids and my wife and myself. Beside the burden of providing clothes and other needs, one has to be very calculative. Um, someone say, if I have to borrow, I am going home. My brother, this is the only time I have to visit and reunite with family members. Are you going home this year? For some Igbo indigents who returned to the Southeast due to insecurity in other parts of the country in the past years, the discomfort of having to relocate out of the zone with its present security challenges is a case of double jeopardy. You are running from a particular section of Nigeria due to insecurity, fear, hoping to go back to your own home. And you are afraid of being killed. Not killed by foreigners, but by your own people. This is serious. This is deep. 
Many people might have diverse opinion about this, but what is your own thought? What are your reactions about this? Don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so.